Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully insert data from our category, that's this input field, and here we use that eloquent ORM, right? And also I shared both of this way, that is the eloquent ORM, that is the two style you can actually add, you can use this, or then you can use this. And right now I want to do, I want to um, insert the same things, I want to insert this category with using that query builder. So as I told you friend, if you use that query builder here, you don't need to use any model. That means also you don't need to create any model uh, on particular data area. So without this, you can also do that work. So for now, I want to do, I want to use the same things, but I make it as a comment out. I want to use it right now as a query builder. And with this query builder, I want to insert this data. So here you don't need to do anything. First of all, it will be add that validation. And after that validation, I want to do, I want to add that as a query builder so if you add that i take one of the array as a data okay data array i name it as a array okay so i take it as a array and into this array area you can do that work like i show you then with this data so with this data you have to do you have to add your field name so our field database field name as a same it should be actually the same as a category name so I name it our field name as a category name and then our requested field ID data. So with this requested field ID data, I have already discussed about that things with you. So that will be our requested field ID data. So this, uh, this one actually our database field. That means this database, this category name field, and this one is our input field. So from where actually I insert this data. So that is our input field, right? So here, so that is our input field. So into the input field, I name it our input field as a category name. So that will be our this category name. I hope it's very much clear to your friend. And after that, uh, sorry, there is a column. That means a semicolon. And after that, I want to do I want to also add that our um, user data. So here you have to you add it with the data and then our field name as a user underscore ID. That means the user ID and, and then I have to do, I have to use our auth. That means it should be just like that same. Better I copy it. That means the authenticated user ID, which user is already logged in this authenticated user ID I want to insert. Okay. So here you have to do, you have to add it. So that will be our category inserted and that is our user ID. And also after that, if you want to insert this data here, if you use that query builder, you have to do, you have to use the DB. That means the DB and into the DB area, that is a table. Sorry, T-A-B-L-E. Okay, which table you want to insert. Here you have to do, you have to add that your this table name. So I have, I want to do, I want to insert this, our category name and the user ID data in our, this category. That means that is actually our table name. So here you have to do, you have to add your table name. Okay, friend. And then into the table area, I want to do, I want to insert it. So I name it as insert and insert our, this all that array data. So that is our, this data as a data. So now I have to do, I have to add it. So friend, that's all you have to do. Okay, so that's all you have to do. And also you use that DB. So when you use that DB, make that sure you use it. Okay, you can see I didn't add that DB in particular that area. So if you want to use it, as I told you before, if you go to that Laravel side, and here if you go to that eloquent ORM, that means if you go to the database and that is a query builder into the query builder if you use that db and you can see that is actually our db code so now i copy it and now i want to do and to use it on here so that is our use illuminate support facets and the db so make that sure you add this db okay so now i add it so I have used that DB and then with this DB, there is a table and which table I want to insert it. I want to insert that same data and everything will be just like that same. So it should be insert this data and return, redirect the back page with some of the message and it should be also display this message as a category inserted successfully. Okay. So now if you click as a save all, now let's check this out. Now go back, now refresh it again. And now I want to add another one as a um, car. Okay, car category. So that is our car category. Click as a add category. Yes, you can see it's now successfully inserted this data. There is a category inserted successfully. If you go to our database, if you click as a browse, yeah, you can see it's now also insert another one as a car. 
right before i have used uh, already insert some of the man's fashion hello and also it's inserted our user id you can see the user id is one as a car but here you can see it's when you're using the query builder it's not will be inserted and that means i created this any date or the updated date so every format i have already shared with you so that is the all format so if you want to use that you look into what i'm with for insert this data you can use it if you want to use that as a query builder you can use that query builder so with this query builder you can insert this data so friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now we successfully insert this data with using that query builder right so now we insert some of the data i want to do i want to actually read this data okay that means i want to get all the data and i want to visible it in our particular disposition so how can do that work if you want to um, actually get all the data you can also get it by two different way one will be as a look into rm another will be as a query builder so i will share both of these one by one so you can read this data and how can visible it in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video